Homer Bible, Book 6, Book of Morals and Precepts, Chapter 52. Food and Drink. Much of the book is to develop your moral code. Avoid using it to judge others. Colburn Bible, Book 6, Book of Morals and Precepts, Chapter 52. Food and Drink. NPR, 52, 1. And dally not unduly at the eating table, nor spend too long in beer drinking. He who overeats or overdrinks quickly becomes a fat sluggard. His belly bloated and his a wit dull. A women mock his lack of manhood. NPR 52.3 Gluttony is a disgrace to manhood. For as a man grows in girth, he declines in vigor. A one thing replaces another. He who eats little is zestful, while he who gorges himself is sluggish. He whose greatest interest lies in satisfying the demands of the stomach is a reproach to manhood, for he is dominated by his appetite. The stomach always cries for more than it requires. I'm going to sound hypocritical here, but I agree with this. I'm overweight, but being unable to live up to what I say does not mean it isn't a good idea. Overeating does make you sluggish. The body is damaged from your lack of control and it is not wise to forget there is no replacement. Yet the mind does function. The spirit is strong, no matter the body. So, they are not worthless, just unwise to forget the body is part of the trinity of humanity. I do find that the stomach is not the one that is crying out for more than it requires. It is your mind that enjoys the taste. It transmits the signals and makes you eat more. Not the stomach. If you listen to it, you will soon realize you are full far before you can stop eating. Your mind is the one that pushes limits, that lacks the ability to realize the damage to the body. The soul awakened will help tame the mind, but the body just does its toll and acts on its wants. Only the soul enforces discipline. I found over the last year my appetite has changed. I eat less, lost weight without much effort. Not sure why. It's been without much effort or thought on my part. But I am still overweight and clearly not likely to be thin. However, it is an odd development that makes me believe it is the soul that enforces discipline, that makes you aware of the need for thinking of the future, to refuse to take more than what you need. Of course, it could also be I'm too absorbed with thinking and working to eat.